It's okay, honey. I'm always going to love you, take care of you. I'm always going to be by your side. And nope, it is not a baby. It is Simba. I mean, come on, American Sniper. Really? You use a fake baby in a movie? If American Sniper can't afford a real baby for one shot, then I can't afford a real one either. But Simba right here, he is a baby. And you know why? Because Simba is... Hello everyone, this is 22 Tiger Dude. Hello everyone. I'm here with Serrano Reyes J, and the both of us are here to review American Sniper, which is directed by Clint <laughs> Eastwood, and it stars Bradley Cooper and Sienna Miller. And American Sniper is about this real life story about Chris Kyle, he's known to be the most lethal American sniper in all of U.S. history. And basically what this movie shows us is just like his family life, the tours that he had to go through, the effects of war and all that. Yeah. Going into American Sniper, I was definitely really excited to see this movie. It just looked really intriguing from the trailer. I think Clint Eastwood is a really good director. He could be kind of hit and miss with his movies, but overall, I think he's a talented filmmaker. I also did want to see this because, you know, it had Bradley Cooper. I was excited, excited because, you know, it dealt with a military man who served the American like the U.S. and the, for the American people. So, coming out of the movie, what did you think of it? It was really good, like, the from the storyline from the beginning and then, like, uh, it's a good thing they kept on the, the true story of, you know, his actual, like, what he had wrote down from when he was in the service from the beginning to the end, that like, when he was in service. I thought coming out of the movie, it was a really good movie. It's very effective. It's very intense. It's based off a, a autobiography that the real-life Chris Kyle wrote off of. Yeah. So, of course, I'm sure they didn't get, like, everything from the autobiography, but I'm sure they were able to fit in at least most of what they could. Yeah, like, whatever they could get out, what he had written down. <coughs> Clint Eastwood did a really great job directing this film, but the American Sniper, he just made each of the war scenes count. Like, he made them intense, he didn't hold back. There were a couple of moments where you're just like, oh my gosh, I can't believe this is happening. It just really gets to you. Show you how effective war is, how crappy war is. He does a really good job with that. I thought he did a really good job of showing Chris Kyle. Just by looking at his face, you know how, how, how terrified he is, how distraught he is. The decisions that he's forced to make, like decisions that really no a human being should have to make. Bradley Cooper, I thought he was just flat out fantastic in this movie. Like, because I, I seen the interview with the real life Chris Kyle, and for what he had to do with the accent and just the character alone, you could just see that Bradley Cooper had a lot of passion uh, for this project and he really portrayed like Chris Kyle so well. And it's honestly one of the best performances that he's given. The uh, what the. Uh, the pressure he had to go through and the and the people he had to kill it was it was horrifying because you know it's not easy for a military man or any service man or or women have to choose during the war so it's not yeah. it's not fun. I was like really surprised what he had to go through. I was really intense, you know, by watching it. Yeah. Otherwise. Because you can't believe like what you're seeing and all that. Yeah, I can't believe what, I had to see like what they're actually dealing with. The movie is shot very well too. I thought the cinematography for the movie, how it kind of has like that black and whitish look to it, uh, like like the dark like the dark gritty look to it. Yeah. I thought the movie looked really good in terms of that. I thought Sienna Miller, who played Bradley Cooper's wife, I thought she actually did a really good job with the movie. She was the wife that. Just wanted her husband back because every time he's back at home, he's just kind of thinking about war and all, how much he wants to go back. So like, 22 Tiger says, like, she played a good actor as a good loving wife, like, being supportive for, like, being there for, for a military man. Yeah. You know, she understands it's not easy 
for a mili military person or any service person. You know, the wife wants his husband back, just staying home from, you know, not being in the service. Yeah. But, you know, they re for most guys, like, you know, like, the actual per uh, you know, the guy who has been in the service yeah. can change over time from the war, so it's not easy. If I have to give my only criticism to this movie, it's just the way it was constructed for like the first 20 minutes without giving away anything. Like you know how the movie started and then it cuts to this and this and this and then it's back to that. Then there were a few moments in the middle where I thought the editing got a little distracting too. So just editing distractions here and there, but overall I thought American Sniper was a really, really incredible movie. By the time the movie ended, I was quiet, you know, the audience at our screening was like really quiet, uh -huh. leaving the okay. theater. So it's all like you could tell the movie put a lot of effect in the audience. It did, like a huge effect. I mean, you can actually, most of you can actually hear them crying a little bit because of what they're seeing. Uh, yeah, so when the movie ends, it's just all like, oh man, the movie just puts you in like a depressing mood afterwards. Clint Eastwood does a great job directing. Bradley Cooper was excellent acting here. Sienna Miller does a good job acting. And even, even the supporting cast overall, I thought they did a really good job. But of course, you're following Chris Kyle, so the main important one is Bradley Cooper. It was really good, and I was happy they did this movie for the people. I like, thought uh, they have everything. They thought the military has everything, but they do not. Like what yeah. they're risking and showing what they're risking for, what they're trying to risk for, and why they have each person, like men or women, <clears throat> yeah, why they're risking their own, for, like their life and freedom. Just to join the service. Yeah. I'm going to give American Sniper three and a half out of four stars. Yeah, it was definitely a really good movie in my opinion. Uh, I'll, for me, I'll give it five out of five because, you know, it's really good from the, like, for the whole entire thing. Like, even for the actors and the directors. Well, Sir RJ, I want to thank you very much for joining me in my review for American Sniper. You're welcome. And of course, you guys, in the comments below, let me know what did you think of American Sniper. This is 22 Tiger Dude. I am Chewbacca. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, <laughs> me and Chewbacca will always have Tiger, tiger Power. power. <laughs>